Do you have a portable receiver that receives the VHF airband but not amateur 2 meter signals? The good news is you can tune into 2 meters if you add a simple converter. In this video, I'll describe the simplest possible converter you could build to allow reception of 2 meter FM amateur signals on an AM airband portable receiver. Yeah, VK3 UFO, VK3 FCBR. Good afternoon, Paul. Welcome aboard. Um, good afternoon, Jim. VK3 HH. There's hardly any parts. Just one transistor, a crystal oscillator on 16 megahertz, and a passive diode mixer. There's no RF preamp in this circuit. Hence, its sensitivity is quite poor. But I can still hear repeaters 20 or 30 kilometers away. The first signal I heard was a Morse practice beacon, transmitting on 145-650 megahertz. Very useful for tests like this. The only connection I have between the converter and the receiver is a single wire going to the telescopic whip. It's really interesting to meet uh, people uh, in this hobby as well and uh, that's what I'm loving about it so far. Over to you Jim. My build of it is quite makeshift. Ideally wires should be a bit shorter. Here's the front end. I've covered most of the beehive trimmer with a bit of plastic, actually some irrigation tubing. That allows you to tune the beehive trimmer without too much capacity from your fingers if you were to touch it directly. This is a germanium diode, the local oscillator, the 16 megahertz crystal and this is where I connect the output to the receiver, in this case on air band, so I can hear 2 meter signals. The whole thing's just powered by a 9 volt battery. I came back to Melbourne and I'm serving my three months time here. Here's the front end tuned circuit, the diode mixer and the local oscillator. I'm using a 16 megahertz crystal though that's not all that critical. For instance, if you used a 15 megahertz crystal or a 20 megahertz crystal, that should be okay, provided that your receiver covers a suitable frequency range. There's seven turns, five millimeters diameter. So you can use a drill bit to wind your wire. It needs to be tinned copper wire, so you can experiment with the tapping positions. On mine, the antenna is about one tap from the bottom, and then there's one or two turns for the tap to the diode. If you have the taps too close to the top of the coil, then your tuning becomes wider and less selective. Whereas if you have them too near the bottom, a bit like a crystal set, then your signal levels are lower. The connection to the receive antenna comes off the junction between the diode's cathode and the signal coming in from the local oscillator. Just a 33 picofarad capacitor and the wire is just twisted around the telescopic antenna of the receiver. If you had a more advanced receiver that had a earth connection then you might get a better signal output if you also connected from here to the outer case or the common connection on the receiver. As far as the performance it's definitely not going to be as good as a more advanced converter. There's no RF preamp, so it won't be all that sensitive. But if you've got a repeater or other signal within a reasonable distance, say 20 or 30 kilometers, and you're using an outdoor antenna, like a ground plane or similar, you'll still get reception with this converter. I should mention that airband receivers are AM mode. Most 2 meter signals are FM mode. You can still tune them in just by tuning off to one side of an AM receiver. It's called slope detection. You don't get the same noise reduction benefits of FM, but as you heard, the signals can be quite acceptable and quite readable. Yeah, no worries, Jim. Yeah, VK3 UFO, 
Bravo VK3, Foxtrot, uh, Charlie Bravo Romeo. Uh, as in CB radio, you'll never forget that in a hurry. Not that we... <laughs> CB radio is back to the old times. Yeah, so yeah, that's um, really, really interesting to, to note what um, what you do. And I Travelling's not, as you say, getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, to get an early flight to Perth and then from Perth back home at midnight on, on the red eye is just not really that rewarding. Um, people don't really get it and they think, oh, that's quite elaborate, you get to travel everywhere. Alan, good afternoon, good to hear you. I was just thinking about you half an hour ago and thinking I must respond to your email. Uh, my field is probably more business process than the software side of it, but you know, that's evolved over the years. I have worked in car dealerships. Uh, just need to join up to a, a local club would be a good idea too. VK3 CBR, VK3 HH. This has been our look at a simple converter, very simple to build, only takes a few minutes, and you've probably already got most of the parts. Build one, especially if you've got an AM airband receiver, and start tuning in to amateur radio 2 meter signals. It's getting warmer and the next Melbourne QRP by the Bay is coming soon. Saturday, November 2, here at Victory Park, Chelsea. Starting time is 3pm. Just bring yourself and an interesting piece of equipment and enjoy the company.